I really wanted to have a sustainable business that is affecting the communities that I serve. And one of the things I saw is the Trukana community. They have vast amounts of fish, which is still underutilized, but they lack a viable market for it. So the fishermen are ending up in poverty and the end customer is enjoying fish, but there's somebody making a lot of money and that is not fair. So I saw that using renewable energy, I can be able to create a solution and create a transparent, traceable fish value chain from the fishermen all the way to the end customer. Kabla ya dili hawajafika mahali hapa. Wafufi maisha yao ilikuwa mbaya sana kwa sababu gani? Samaki walikuwa wanapata walikuwa wanauza kifungu shilingi 20 na soko haikuwa inapatikana mahali hapa. Ilikuwa either ufukishe hadi kalokal ama ufikishe lodwa ndio uuze. Ukiuza hapa unauza shilingi 20. Ukifikisha lodwa unauza 50 bob. When we came and set it, our facility up, we set the price to be 100 shillings per kilo. And right now I can say, it's not just to us, but also to other traders, they are, get, they are being able to sell between 80 to 120 shillings per kilo for the fish. Just a fish processing facility has had impact on the community at large because the community used to buy water at seven shillings per jerry can. And for us, to be able to uh, process fish, we needed a lot of water. So we had to come up with a way to draw water and treat it and use it for our facility. But we could not neglect the community. We kupata maji ambayo walichimba at the same time wakaosha. So kwa adili tukawa tunapata kwa shilingkumi. Shule yetu pia ikawa imepata maji. Ambapo hapa awali ilikuwa asubuhi kabla mtoto aingie kwa darasa wanapelekwa na walimu hadi kwa bahari wanaleta maji na mitungi hadi jikoni kisha ndiye aingie kwa dara kwa darasa. Partnerships is very important. Through these partnerships we can be able to create a change in these communities and create sustainable development within these rural communities. Mm -hmm.